Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'd uh, like to talk a little bit about Hillary Clinton and why she didn't win the election. Today on the news I heard that they're trying to blame it on uh, the email scandal that broke like 10 days before the election. But that didn't have anything to do with it. The thing of it is, with 10 days left to go in an election, you pretty much have picked your candidate and it would take a, a lot, a real big scandal to really change your mind about who you're voting for at that point. So this email scandal, they're just using that as an excuse. But here is some real reasons why she didn't win the election. Number one is she had too many skeletons in her closet. She had more skeletons in her closet than her graveyard. You know, and one of the things that really hurt her is because she was Secretary of State for four years. Now, if she wouldn't have been that, and she would have just laid low for four years, and then popped up and ran against Donald Trump, she might have had a better chance. Because one of the things that certainly hurt her was uh, the scandal of Benghazi, and the ambassador, and the special forces people that died in that event. You know, and then, of course, the cover-up coming out, you know, and her hoping that when she ran for president that that would be all swept under a rug. Another thing that uh, really didn't sit well with me is how they attacked Donald Trump really bad, and they kept praising Hillary Clinton and shoving her down your throat and shoving her down your throat, and... When somebody does that with a candidate and the people see that they're favoring one over the other, that tends to leave a bad taste in people's mouths and they'll vote against the candidate that the news media thinks should be president. So that's another thing that hurt her. And another thing that hurt her was WikiLeaks. I mean, them coming out with emails saying that... Uh, the Democrat Party basically screwed Bernie Sanders out of his nomination. That would leave a bad taste in his supporters' mouths. And, you know, even though Bernie himself would have said, well, we got to go support Hillary now, they're not going to because uh, they're not liking that their candidate got screwed over. So why would they vote for Hillary if they know she's the one that's that screwed their candidate over. So, and that's another reason. You know, and I was kind of surprised to see that Donald Trump made it as far as he did. I mean, right up to the presidency. I mean, I did vote for him, you know, but I'm a Republican, so I would have voted for probably pretty much anybody that they put on the ticket, and it just happened to be Donald Trump. You know, but... The thing with Bernie Sanders is I'm kind of glad he wasn't nominated anyways, because if he would have gotten voted in like two years later, we all would have probably been standing in a bread line, and the people that still believed in him would be like, oh, when's Bernie going to feed us? <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, uh, that probably would have been terrible, you know, or we would have been taxed to death trying to pay for all his entitlements he wanted to throw out there. You know, I'm all for people having college and stuff like that, but I don't want to pay somebody to be college educated to work at Walmart. I'm sorry. And another thing that hurt uh, Hillary Clinton was uh, her stance on immigration and, and them saying that it would be another four more years of Obama. I mean, I'm sorry for the people that like Obama or liked his policies or like what he did, but he was running this country into the ground. And his policy on uh, letting Ill illegal immigrants stay here, his uh, dreamers, I don't know, it wasn't voted in, I think he signed it into law. But his Dreamers Act, you know, this country has almost 90 million people out of work, but yet he's going to let people that jump the border stay here and and fill in jobs that Americans could do, you know. I certainly hate the term, jobs that America won't do. Well, if you don't have any money, you'll do what you have to do to make it to, to survive. 
So there's no such thing as a job that an American won't do. Um, and that hurt her, while well, also the refugees too. There's no way of knowing who these people are. They're they're coming from a radical part of the world. It doesn't matter if they're nice or or if they want to live in peace. They they come from a part of the world that it they have customs and cultures of of the way they do things that is different from us, to where they think it's okay in in Syria or the Middle East, but it's not okay here. I mean, look what's going on in Europe. And Hillary Clinton supported bringing more refugees here after seeing what they're what the refugees are doing in Europe. No, thank you. Nobody wants that. I mean, there's some crazy like Pink dot org, whatever. I don't even want to endorse their asses, but they uh, they're crazy enough to say that they would accept these immigrants here. That's that's crazy. They're just asking for trouble. They're asking for American lives to be lost, you know, for the sake of them staying where they are and and kumbaya, you know. We don't need the refugees. But it's mainly all... It's not that we hate immigrants, and it's not that we hate refugees. It's just... It's about the safety of America and the safety of people and also the safety of like the immigrants trying to cross the border out of a desert. You know, you, they risk their lives, of course, to come across that border, but it's dangerous, you know. And of course, they talk about, you know, it lowers wages and stuff. I mean, I don't, I'm not an economic major of any sorts, but... But they do take jobs that Americans could do. And uh, I'm a firm believer that these people, they have to go home. There's no two ways about it. And that's another policy that hurt Hillary Clinton. And, you know, in the four more years of Barack Obama, nobody, I mean, yes, there's still some people that believe in Barack Obama and believe in what he's doing, but the rest of America, the working class America, just didn't believe in his dream. I mean, I work in manufacturing, and up for the last four years, I watched our work just, it keeps dwindling and dwindling. The last two days, I, I haven't even gotten eight hours, you know, and it's all because of Obama's policies and how he's running this country into the ground. You know, or plus uh, making people thinking they're entitled to you know, housing and all that when if they're capable they should be getting off their ass and getting a job. Because the only people I want to support with my taxes are the elderly that have paid their dues and the disabled that can't do anything. Those are the only people that I want to pay my taxes to. I don't want to pay my taxes out to refugees. I don't want to pay my taxes out to illegals. And I don't want to pay my taxes out to people that are capable. You know, give them help, yes. I'll help you all you want if you're trying to better yourself. But if you're going to live on the system... Forget it. You're not getting my money. Even though it's stolen from me and given to you anyways. But, and that's part of the reason. You know, Obama's economic plan has been a disaster. I mean, they can talk their crap about it getting better all they want. And it's, it's clearly not. Yeah. Well, those are some of the things that, uh, in my mind, I mean, there's a few more. I mean, where she got her funding from, the Middle East, that didn't sit well with me either. I mean, if, if there were, like, American donors and rich people in America, fine. But foreign people shouldn't be giving you money to run in our elections. And they blame Trump and... Russian hacking, which is a crack of crap about, you know, influencing our election when 
when Hillary's taking money from foreign donors and using it to fund her campaigns. That's like there's there's so many reasons, and they want to they want different scapegoats, and smart people have to kick back and realize why she lost. That's and the top reasons they're throwing out there right now are not the reasons why she lost. Okay, I thank you for watching. I ask that you'd subscribe to my channel if you liked what I had to say. And thumbs up, and give it a like. Thumbs down if you don't like it. What can you do? Some people don't like everything. And I thank you for watching. Thank you.